Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy step by step how to make these beautiful retro style crystal seed beads earrings. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make new absolutely free videos for constant inspiration. The beads that I use for this video are sent by my friends from Beading School by Erika Sandor. This is their forest collection and I have unboxing video and other tutorials connected to this collection and I'm linking them here at the eye icon to see. Uh, in description you will find links to all the materials that I'm using here. Okay guys, but before I start, I just want to tell you what you will get if you decide to buy from the website of Beading School by Erika Sandor. You will get 10% discount code Bijuteo for items that are not on sale. It is valid until the end of September, but don't worry, later I will give you more and more discount codes, so stay with me. And you will get worldwide shipping for free above 75 euros. The bead boxes full of treasured in different color variations are now discounted from 75 to 52 euros. And you should know that uh, if you decide to buy them separately, you will give even more than 75 euro. That is why it's a good offer now. And you could expect new tutorials on my channel using the beads from the forest collection and these tutorials could be applied to all the other collections if you prefer different color combinations. So stay with me with this. So this was all connected to this collection. Down there you will find besides the full list of material short clip of this video where in only three minutes I show this whole project and you might decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, and you could check it out as well if you want to save time and be inspired. And now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are the beads that my friends from Beading School by Erika Sandor sent me. These are round faceted crystal in emerald color and in smoke to pass color. I'm using here these teardrop crystals as well that are from the same collection and are matching color to these beads. They also sent me these seed beads that are not from the forest collection but you could also find on their website. They are Delica beads in two colors golden and green. These are just regular earring findings. These are not from their website but I like them to use them in this project. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches through 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice like Fireline or whatever you prefer. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers. They are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now guys, I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, and I will start by picking up this beautiful emerald green color and a seed bead of gold color. Emerald green, a gold one, emerald green and a gold one. Now I have three faceted crystals in emerald green colors alternated by three Delica 11-0 seed beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull and now I want to make one more knot. And now guys, this is what I have. Now what I want to do next is go through one of my emerald faceted crystals. They are four millimeters and I'm going to take a green one, a yellow one, a green one, a yellow one and a green one. So I'm taking two yellow faceted crystals and three greens 
and I will go back in circle. This is not exactly yellow. This is more like of a brownish yellow color or orange, something like that. Uh, beautiful mixture. Okay, then I go in my next crystal. And I'm going to repeat this. A green, a fasted crystal, a green, a crystal and a green. Okay, and I'm going back in circle through this emerald bead. And I will repeat this one more time. And what I want to do next is go through all of those beads in this direction. And my goal is to go out through the hole of one of those faceted crystals here at the edge. Okay, I'm exiting out of this crystal here. And what I need to take is one emerald crystal. And I'm going through the following crystal just like this. Then I go here, take one more emerald crystal, and I go through the following. Okay, one more, only through the crystal without going through the next seed bead and take just one. Okay guys, and now I have this. Okay, and now I go through the following green bead and I'm going to take three golden beads, one emerald bead and three goldens, okay. This is what I have on my needle and I'm going back here through this green one. Okay, now I have this crystal attached here to my work. Then what I want to do is go in this direction and exit out of my next green round faceted crystals, crystal and I'm going to take five golden seed beads. Okay, I have my five here and I'm going back in circle and I pull. Then in my next step I'm aiming for this green one because I want to attach another another green crystal after it. Okay, I take three goldens, one emerald green crystal, and three more golden beads. Okay, this is what I have. And I go back here through this one. Then I will repeat the same thing. I'm exiting out of this green crystal and I need five. Okay, I have my five here. Go back and I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, and now I'm going to start my next row. And for my next row, I'm exiting here out of the first yellow, the first uh, golden one. After this green, I'm exiting out of the this one, I'm here. And I'm going to take three green beads and I'm going here in the golden. Okay, just like this. Then I go in the next two goldens. Okay. 
I take three and I go here after the first golden in this direction. Okay, you see where I'm going. Let me focus. Okay, after the first golden bead in this direction from the center to the outside. And now, guys, I'm going to add here eight seed beads. Okay, I have my eight. And I'm going here through the first two golden beads. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm exiting between those two golden beads. And I need three greens. And I go here at the goldens. Okay, now I have this. Then I go in the next two goldens. And I take three more green beads. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this, okay, and in my next step I'm going through the first green one, okay, and as I'm exiting here after the first green, I'm going to take three yellow beads or golden beads, one emerald, three yellows, one green, three yellows, one emerald and three more yellow beads okay this is what i have on my needle if you want pause it pick it up and i'll be back okay and now again i'm going here after the first between the first and the second green one okay and i pull okay guys now i have this now I will go in this direction through as many beads as I can and my goal guys is to exit at the same place here between the first and the second green beads. Okay, and now I'm going to exit out of my crystal and I want to surround it with golden beads. And I'm going to take six goldens. And I'm going like this and I'm going to repeat this from the other side. Okay, and I have six here and I'm going here around in circle through this crystal just like this okay in this direction and I pull then I go through the following three beads I skip this green one and I want to exit out of my next crystal. And as I skip the green one, you see how it pops out in this direction, just like this. And then what I want to take is take six seed beads. 
Okay, I have my six here. And I'm going back in circle through this emerald bead. And I'm going to repeat this from the other side. Okay, and I go back just like this. Now guys, what I'm going to do is connect those two crystals together to stay next to each other. And I go just one bead in this direction. And I pull. Okay, I'm exiting here between this one and this one. And I'm going to take two green beads. Okay, I have two here. And I'm going here in the middle one of these five. So here I have one, two, one, two, and this is the middle one. And I go here in this direction. Okay, then I'm going to take two more. And I'm going through two beads, just like this. And I pull. And now in my next step, I'm going to connect those two beads here that are next to each other. Okay. I'm going like this. I'm connecting them. And one more time through these two green beads. Okay. Now I have those circles connected. And what I want to do is reach this green bead here at the bottom where I'm going to connect my crystal, my teardrop crystal. Okay, now I'm here and I'm going to take my crystal and do you remember that I showed you that there are two types of crystals and this is the type where the hole is from this side and now I will show you how to attach it to your work, okay? I'm taking three seed beads of this golden color, then I go here through the hole in this direction. Okay, I pull. And then I'm going to take three more crystal. This is even easier than the other way. I was attaching my crystals that I'm showing in most of my tutorials. Okay. And now guys, you could go reinforcing this joint here okay and now guys my goal is to go through all of those beads and reach here the top where i'm going to show you how to attach your earring finding okay guys and i went through all of my beads here and now I'm exiting here after this green one through this yellow and I want to go eight yellow beads in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now I'm eight beads away from this green one. Okay guys, and now what I'm going to do is one seed bead, my ear wire, and one more seed bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through these two yellows that are my middle two yellows. 
because I have even number of beads here. Okay, and I'm going here, reinforcing my work. Okay, and I will make here a knot. Okay, I'm making a loop, going once and going second time through the loop I've made. And I pull. And in my next step, I go through the following seed beads. And you could repeat this knot several more times. And when you're ready, cut your thread. And my unusual retro style earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my unusual retro earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I release absolutely free videos for new inspiration. Down there in description, you will find all the supplies that I'm using and uh, you will find a 10% coupon code Bijuteo, uh, with which you could shop from the store of Beading School by Erika Sandor. So stay with me if you like this content and if you like unboxing videos and tutorials done out of them. Okay, and down there you will find a full list of materials, as I said, and a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, and you could also subscribe there for new inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.